In the coming decade, the Russian army will get new era weapons that will change the face of the Russian military. Russia's Vice Premier Dmitry Rogozin declared that the country's rearmament program has finally been signed by President Vladimir Putin, and the military will get about $340 billion to create new generation weapon systems. Check out what's going to be bolstering Moscow's arsenal in the coming years. This will be the biggest and most devastating system in the world. It will replace its outdated Vovoda ancestor and be positioned around the Russian capital to guard home soil. The Sarmat or RS-28 is a heavy intercontinental ballistic missile weighing 100 tons with a payload weight of 10 tons. It's the only missile in the world able to cover 17,000 kilometers before eliminating everything in its path. Every missile will have at least 15 multiple re-entry vehicles, each with a yield of between 150 and 300 kilotons, enough to blow a crater the size of the Grand Canyon. However, it will only be used as a deterrence and employed in drastic circumstances. Another super hot addition to Russia's weapons store. The first ever missiles able to hurtle towards their target at 2.5 km per second or 8 times faster than the speed of sound. Details about these anti ship missiles coded as Circon have been kept top secret, but it's known that they're similar to the Caleb cruise missiles that were used during the Syrian campaign. The deployment of Sircon new anti-ship hypersonic cruise missiles on the Russian Navy's corvettes and frigates is envisaged by Russia's state armament plan for 2018 to 2027. Sircon missiles can be launched with the help of a universal shipborne platform with ZS-14 launchers that are also used for caliber Onyx missiles. Experimental machines of this type have already been baptized in Syria to test their devastating power, and the new missiles and bombs specially created for them. At the moment, the only other fifth-generation fighter jet in the world is the American F-22 Raptor. These machines are hard to pick up on enemy radar, like ghosts. The Defense Ministry hasn't revealed what new ammunition is in the pipeline for the Su-57s, but powerful air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles are expected, as well as 30mm guns. It's also known that the jets, bombs and missiles will be hidden inside its body to further reduce the plane's noticeability on radars. This army chopper will be able to fly at speeds of up to 500 km per hour with eight men on board armed to the teeth with devastating weaponry. In comparison, the maximum speed of Russia's next fastest helicopter, the Ka-52 Alligator, is 320 km per hour. At the moment, the project is dubbed the Flying Laboratory, and will soon create the world's fastest battle chopper. It will be based on the Russian Mi-24, which is a large helicopter gunship able to carry eight passengers. According to Oleg Chesnikov, the combat training chief of Army Aviation of the Russian Aerospace, arms manufacturers are developing a new generation of surveillance and targeting systems, as well as creating new guided long-range missiles. The early model of the chopper has already reached 405 km per hour during testing. 
The main goal is to make 500 km per hour a normal and stable cruising speed for the new helicopter armed with guns, missiles and covered in armor. This is the most hotly anticipated rifle, not only in Russia, but all over the world. It's reminiscent of the AK-74 model and is chambered with the same 5.45mm rounds, yet the AK-12 models have integrated Picatinny rails top and bottom. This means even regular soldier. Not to mention the special ops guys will get advanced optics and flashlights to effectively operate in any conditions. To further increase combat effectiveness of the rifle, it can be equipped with 40mm underballer grenade launcher such as GP-25 or GP-34. Cleaning kit is stored inside a container at the base of pistol grip and a three-piece cleaning rod is stored inside shoulder stock tube.